Hey everybody, today I wanted to share with you what is Mozilla Firefox and how do I install it on my Windows 10 computer. Well, Mozilla Firefox is actually from Netscape going way back to the 1990s. See, Netscape released their source code and made it available to the open source community in 1998. Now, the reason that they did that is because Netscape wanted to make it where people had a choice and they could also avoid antitrust litigation. So they created Mozilla. And Mozilla released their very first browser that was called Phoenix in 2002, but it was a beta. And they tested it out and people really, really liked it because it was incredibly fast, it was secure, and it had a bunch of add-ons that you could use with the browser itself. And then they released Firefox 1.0 on November 9, 2004. Now the reason that they changed the name from Phoenix to Firefox is because they wanted to avoid a trademark conflict with Phoenix Technologies. So they went ahead and changed the name from Phoenix to Firefox. Then after they released it, just nine months later, they had already had 60 million downloads of the Firefox browser. Is that a lot? Yeah, it's a lot. And so it was actually competing at that time with Internet Explorer. And it was really giving Internet Explorer a run for its money. So why would you want to put Mozilla Firefox on your computer? Well, a lot of people don't know this, but Mozilla Firefox, the web browser, offers almost the exact same features that Google Chrome offers, except it offers one additional feature. It offers Mozilla's Enhanced Tracking Protection, or ETP for short. And what that does is it blocks any trackers, such as cookies, fingerprints, and crypto mining scripts. Those are just a few of them. And that would keep your computer from getting any of those on it. Now another reason you might want it is because it's also open source. So anybody can freely contribute to it and make the browser better. And then also it's fast and it prioritizes that user experience to make sure that it's going to minimize data collection and automatically block those trackers to keep you secure. So it's actually a fantastic browser. So I really like it myself. I continue to use it. I thought maybe you all would like to see how you can install it on your computer. So if you wanted to test it out, you can. So let's go over to the Windows 10 computer now and I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay. So I have my Windows 10 computer up and booted to the desktop and you can see the start bar at the bottom. So now I'm going to click on Microsoft Edge, which is right down here. But if you don't see it down here, that's okay. Just click on start and scroll down and there's Microsoft Edge. So go ahead and click on that. And then once Microsoft Edge opens, we're going to download Firefox. So up here in the address bar, I'm going to click and I'm going to type in firefox.com and I'm going to press enter. Now here, this is where you want to click on download Firefox. And there it goes. It starts downloading it and it put it up here in the top right corner. So I'm going to click on this little folder right here, which will open the downloads folder. Now, if for any reason you don't have that button, you can also click down here on the file explorer and then you can click on downloads over here on the left side. And there's the Firefox installer. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to run as administrator. And then if it asks, can the Firefox installer 
make changes to your device, go ahead and click yes so that it can install all the files that it needs for the Mozilla Firefox browser to work perfectly and not give you any problems. Now it will take it just a moment to install and then I'll show you when it comes up the browser. Okay, so it actually went ahead and it opened up Mozilla Firefox automatically. So this is the very first page that you would get when you first open Mozilla Firefox. And it says, our nonprofit backed browser helps stop companies from secretly following you around the web. So you can pin Firefox to the taskbar so it'll always stay down here and it won't disappear when you close it. And then you can also set it as the default browser if you want to. And then you can even import all your data from a previous browser. So whether it be Chrome, whether it be Chromium, Edge, Opera, any browser you can think of, it can import most of that information directly into Firefox. So I'll go ahead and click Save and Continue. And we'll go ahead and finish this setup so I can show you the rest of the browser. And then it asked me, do I want to pin Firefox to the taskbar down here in the bottom right corner? So I'm going to click on yes. And then I can import my browser data. If you click right here, you can choose what you're going to import, whether it's from Internet Explorer, whether it's from Microsoft Edge Legacy, whether it's from Chrome, or Microsoft Edge and you may have other browsers that show up too. You can also import passwords from a CSV file or bookmarks from an HTML file. Well at the moment I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on Edge and click import. But you can pick any of them you'd like to. Okay so that finished. It only took a few seconds and now I'm going to click continue and then you can stay encrypted when you hop between your devices. So when you're synced up, Firefox encrypts your passwords, your bookmarks, and more. It'll keep those tabs between all of your devices synced perfectly. So I'm not going to do that for right now. I'm just going to skip that step. But you could do that and keep all your devices synced so that when you go from one to another, everything is right there just like you left it on the other device. And then you can also do add-ons which are basically tiny apps that run in Firefox and they make the way that you browse easier, more secure, add more features. I'm going to go ahead and skip this step but you can also explore the staff recommended add-ons if you'd like to. But I'm going to skip it for now. And there it is. Now you're done. So you can go ahead and click start browsing. And then it's just going to take you to a default home page. So here I can go up here and just go to any website that I'd like to. YouTube.com. And then you can just search for anything. You can just search for uh, any video that you'd like to pull up. And it'll start playing it for you right there. So if I just put in IT101 and I press enter and there you go so there's there's my channel right there and if I click on it you can click on any of the videos that I have up there and they'll start playing right there on this browser and you won't have any problems with it thanks so much everybody I really hope that was helpful on what is Mozilla Firefox and how do I install it on my Windows 10 computer if you do have any questions about the Firefox browser or how to install it on your computer, please let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I will do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like what is Mozilla Firefox web browser 
and how do I install it on my Windows 10 computer? And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.